What's up guys, it's Eileen. Welcome to my June favorites video. So I literally just got back from traveling last night and if you guys don't know, if you haven't followed me on Instagram and Snapchat, I've been traveling around Europe for the past two weeks. I went to Iceland, London, Nice, Rome, Milan, and Berlin. So I hit up a few cities. I had a ton of fun. I basically just like took a break from life and work. I didn't even bring my laptop and just enjoyed exploring with my friends. So now that I'm back, I'm like a few shades darker. I My hair color's all gone and I have bug bites all over my legs and my arm. So I'm just like gonna reset myself and get back into the game of creating again and I think it's always good to like take a break and refresh because I have a lot of new stories and lessons to share. Aside from traveling, some other cool things I did this month was host my first live webinar. I hope you guys were there for that. If you were, then it was so much fun to do that and I definitely want to do more live stuff again in the future and also I hosted at the OC Night Market. Are you ready guys? One, two, two three! three. Just to be back on stage was really energizing for me and I just realized how much I love to just be out there and be a performer no matter what format it is. Alright, let's jump into the favorites. So the first favorite of the month is this contraption called the Foreo Luna Mini 2. And this is basically a silicone face cleanser. You turn it on by pushing this button, it vibrates and you can set like different speeds and basically you like wash your face with it using a cleanser. And I really like using this because it definitely cleans your face more than if you were just to use your hands and previously I used something called the Clarisonic you guys have probably heard of it but the Clarisonic I mean it was great for like cleansing and exfoliating the only thing is my Clarisonic kind of broke since my Clarisonic died I decided to try this thing out because you don't have to keep buying replacement brushes for this it's silicone I think it lasts longer and also like with one charge the Foreo can last like months without having to recharge. So I think that really sold me on it. The fact that I, don't, I didn't have to keep charging this over and over again and the fact that I don't have to buy new brushes for it and that it's silicone, it's antibacterial. I've just grown to really like this thing. I don't know if it's necessary but it just brings me such satisfaction to use this to clean my face. I think if I'm not using this, I feel like my cleansing routine is not complete so definitely like it makes a difference my next favorite is this elta sunblock honestly i don't really know this brand and i got it because it was popular on amazon i just needed like a really good face spf for the summer and for traveling so it's so important to wear spf on your face i think in the past like couple months i've gotten really like adamant about using SPF every day on my face before I put on makeup, before I put on anything because SPF is so important for you and it's after I talked to this dermatologist that I met, she was basically telling me everything about how like the sun damages your skin and you can't reverse the kind of damage that the sun does to your skin. So it's just so important to use SPF, especially if you're young now, it's better to start earlier. Protect yourself, protect your skin, and just wear sunscreen every day. Don't miss a day, really. My next favorite product of the month is this Moon Brightening Youth Serum and I know, I know, I, if you guys watch my videos, I already mentioned this as my favorite a few months ago but honestly it's my favorite again because when I was traveling these past two weeks, this is all I brought for my face. I literally brought just face wash and this youth serum and that was all that I needed. Honestly, if I were to choose one skincare product to use for the rest of my life, it would be this one. And it's because it's just an oil that is so versatile. You can use it as your moisturizer, you use it in your eye area, on your lips. You can, it's basically just natural oil. It's made of like prickly pear seed oil, argan oil, and rose essential oil, and it does wonders. 
literally this is all that I needed and I was really trying to travel light for Europe and so when you travel light you only want to bring like one or two skincare products you don't want to bring your whole collection so yeah this thing is all you need Moving on, my favorite book that I've been reading for like the past two months is called Anatomy of the Spirit by Carolyn Miss. So I saw Carolyn Miss speak at Oprah's Super Soul Sunday and so it really intrigued me to check out her book. Basically the book is about holistic healing, holistic medicine, and the concept is that all of our physical illnesses come from mental, spiritual, emotional traumas or kind of like a lack of something in a certain area. It all has to do with energy in your body. If you're neglecting a certain area of your life or if you're hurt in one area, it just emotional, mental, spiritual pain leads to real physical pain. And this book teaches you to like read through all your chakra energy levels to kind of evaluate yourself and your own health. So in the book, Carolyn Miss tells her story of how she became a medical intuitive, how she's like grown and she talks about all the cases of different people that she's met, which is the most interesting part for me, just to hear the stories of people who had medical issues that stems from some kind of like emotional issue or something else and how they healed themselves based on healing their energies. After reading Anatomy of the Spirit, I feel like this concept is something that more and more people should at least be aware about. I know a lot of people might not be open enough to kind of accept these ideas about like how energy is related to physical illnesses, but I think it really makes sense if you read into it and look into all the details. What's really cool about the book is that after seeing so many different patients, the author has been able to connect and find patterns in how like one emotional issue connects to one organ of the body and she has this whole chart of like different issues and what parts of the bodies that those issues can affect. So it's really crazy after like reading all the stories and seeing her charts and how she explains why this affects this and this affects that. And also like seeing in people, like my friends and family, seeing what physical issues they have and how it relates to the kind of problems that they have in their life. So if any of this intrigues you, check out Anatomy of the Spirit by Carolyn Miss. And once you read it, let me know what you think. I'd really love to know. All right, that's it for my June favorites this month. Also, I forgot to mention my giveaway. It's ending this week. I will be choosing winners on July 8th. Anyway, thank you guys so much if you participated in my giveaway. I really appreciate all your podcast comments and reviews. So I will contact winners on Friday and that's it for now. Thanks so much guys. I'll be coming out with new stuff real soon. Bye.